hello guys today i'm gonna show you how you could set up code blocks id for c c++ uh, on a 64-bit windows for that what you have to do is go to this fold uh, go to this page of codeblocks.org slash downloads and from here download this version of code blocks down here code blocks this one code blocks 13.2 this is the latest, latest version of code blocks uh, with the MinGW compiler and download it from the sourceforge.net okay just click on this link and the, the download will start so once you have downloaded this code blocks you, you, you will be having uh, like this open it one So once you have uh, installed it completely, you will be having the ID open, but you won't be able to compile the code. For that, what you have to do is, you first have to install one install the MinGW, the MinGW, W64 bit. Download it from um, sourceforge.net. Right down here. Like the downloads go to the download section mingww.w64.sourceforge.net okay move on to the download section right down here and just check on mingw builds project right down here it's the it's, it's, it's the compiler which you will be needing and the windows 32 or slash 64 bit it runs on both 32 and 64 bit machine so it has yes you can you have to download this one you have to download this from the sourceboard.net once you will be downloading you will be getting a setup file like this mm. okay 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 and I have, once i have downloaded since it's asking me to download it once for a while once again actually getting repository description file it is taking all the gathering the repository descriptions it will take some moment so there you go once you have install uh, downloaded this install in ww64 installation for 64 and 34 bit windows both you will be having this window open this is the installer of MinGW. Check the version. Make sure that the most current version is select you have selected for your PC. And the architecture over here is i686. This is for this is for the 32-bit machine. And x86 underscore 64 is for the 64. 64 bit machine and i686 is for the 32 bit machine so make sure that you have selected this x86 underscore 64 right down here the threads will be for 6 not windows 32 as you have a 64 bit machine and all these things will be uh, kept as it is seh will be seh and build version make sure that you have selected the updated version as well as it is not having any updated uh, build revision so i have to select zero name on to the next okay now here move down to your code blocks directory as it is being a uh, 32 bit application it is, it is saved in program files 86 directory right down here is the code blocks and select this di directory for your installation make sure that you have selected this directory okay c program files actually is code blocks mingw once you have installed code blocks before you are installing mingw click on next i won't be doing it as i have done before so i'll just be clicking on cancel are you sure yes i'm sure now once you have installed this mingw in here the one I have sh uh, shown you is OS program files code blocks the here mingw see I am having all these files which have been installed and this is the one I need 
x86 underscore 64 this is our 64 bit one which we need which we will be needing okay and you need to have the standard library files which will be down uh, which you have to download from this libsdl.org from this page you have to grab the current version right down here HD, uh, sdl version 2.0.3 is the current version available right now click on it okay the page is opened actually uh, so and we want to move down here to development libraries here yeah, this one we grab the one second one sdl develop devil dash 2.0.3 on the main gw dot charger series okay make sure that means you have selected you have to, you will be downloading this one main gw dot charger dot dot gz okay so you have to download this one uh, not this one this 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 one you require actually this is for the visual c plus plus and this is for the main gw so once you have downloaded this one this means sdl 2.0.3 you will be making what you will be creating a folder in your computer my computer uh, in the c, c drive you will be have to create a folder named name it as sdl and just it it, it will be a uh, an compressed file you have to extract it extract is just in this sdl folder right down here so i am having it extracted right like this so this is my one but uh, i will be preferring uh, to, to preferring that you are uh, you are having this sdl dash table that to 2.0.2 .2 version as as of now the, the day at which i am making this video this is the this, maybe this is the latest version but it has some of the bugs which has not yet been fixed but in this version the bugs have been fixed and it works pretty well than this it does okay so i'll be showing you with this one this devil dash 2.0.2 dash mean gw but this one is the updated okay so once you have got all these tools like and uh, like sdl and mean gw uh, you have to move down to here open the code blocks in the settings tab select the compiler make sure that you, you have selected the gne gcc compiler right down here then under the compiler settings and the compiler flags check this box enable all common compiler warnings okay then under the linker settings what you have to do is link under this linker options select this and just write this one down here and without making any errors it's has to be more precise and it has to be exactly like this what it is let me read out for you minus small l mean gw 32 space minus small l stl in caps 2 main main space minus l sdl in caps again 2 minus l sdl in caps 2 underscore image okay so you have to write this one on your own and you ma make sure that you have you don't do any errors in it as once i i had been doing and i had uh, at the time of my installation i had just missed out this gap over here this space over here actually and instead i just overlook this one and it was the program was going to have been compiled so you make sure that you have this thing this linker option written correctly okay having done this you will move on to this search directory over down here let's just concentrate on this part only for now this devil 2.0.2 i will be take, uh, talking about these things later on these are some projects which you have to include that you have to download and then you have to include and add did this part i'll be talking about this later a little later okay so devil 2.0.2 what you have to do is you have to include this sdl you have to include this sdl from this what that what you have to do click on the add move on to the sdl folder where you have saved your sdl 2.0.2 
under OS. OS SDL. Here. SDL then 2.0.2 under this. Yes, this is the one. I have told you at the start of this video that i686 is for 32-bit compiler and x86 underscore 64 is for 64-bit compiler. So move on down here, include, click on include and select this one and just click OK and add this thing and it will be done. Okay. And move on to the having done this thing, come to the linker and you have to just do the same thing but instead you have you have selected the instead of selecting the include what you have to select is just let me check down this one this is okay. 2.0.2 move down to here now from here come on to the lib and just do okay so this will be done so main gw 2.0.2 main gw slash sdl 2.0.2 x86 main gw so this is the one we will be needing okay the slip down here in the linker and these three things what i have included i will if you need you, you can download it from this path right down here projects lib sdl.org slash projects right down in this url is given in the description box and these are the th uh, three things which you generally need the image mixture net and ttf download these things extract it under this sdl folder right down here and do the same procedure uh, which you have done with this with this with this 2.0.2 as well just include the library like this for image table add go to this folder where you have the SDL SDL and for this image if you are selecting for image move on to the image select the version of your windows this is obviously 64 bit this one and go to include and select this one as DRD. Okay, so click on OK, it will be a and you are done with it. Similarly, do these things, do the same procedure for this one and also for this linker. Having done this one, I'm going to show you a project that is running completely fine. Create new project, console application, go next, see. Uh, hello as it generally prints hello world so why not hello world okay so here is the main function let's just build it and run so it's running fine hello world so that's it how we have to set up the code blocks id for u64 bit windows so thanks for watching hope you like the video